Good to see you again, my friend. Dennis, can you hear me? I'm, I'm too tired. Good. Do you have a... Uh, what does your hat say? Hi, hi there, guys. My hat? It says Woodstock. Did Kim Woodstock. reach out to you? Did right people is reach out my hat? to you? No. President's people? Anybody reach out to you for insight into the other side? Yeah, yeah. You know what? I talked to those, those guys last last five years. Like, I talked to Kim, Kim Young Young, and, 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 and you know he said, "People believe me that I'm a good guy, and I I, I know I know the bottom of my heart that this guy's good. He doesn't have any trouble. He doesn't find any nation unlike the United States. I believe him. I told him that you know what? Give me a chance. I bring my people here, and I start with the basketball thing. People thought it was a joke." It wasn't a joke. You see how things are gone. He's a good guy. A good guy. We don't know. We need to give him a chance. And I had to listen to him. I, I did listen and try to help. Let him understand the war. And I even tried to talk to Obama when Obama was the president. Obama, I told Obama, look, I got some of North career. You know, you gotta listen. But Obama just showed me up. But that didn't stop me. I kept going back, you know, show my Lord to this country. Saying, let me ask you something. I, I, I told everybody, we will bring this country. Let me finish. Let me, let me finish. Let me finish. It was amazing. It was great. It was really great. When I said those things, <laughs> when I said those things, I, and I went back home, I got so many death threats. A bill tried to kill me, you know, because of North Korea, when I went to North Korea. I couldn't even get home. I had to hide out for 30 days hiding. Be ready for me to ask you another question. Uh, I know you're very emotional what? about yeah, this. Go ahead, go ahead. This is what yeah. I, I want to know. I, I want to know. Well, you're an emotional guy. I you, go you feel very deeply about things. People have been around I'm you. Sure understand that. Right. Why did you feel this country needs to talk together? So and I, I think I got it. That you needed to make something happen for North Korea. There's so many places you could have gone in the world that have you know, a much easier path to peace than North Korea, given the record of human rights abuses and other practices of this despotic regime. But you chose North Korea. Why? Let me tell you I chose North Korea. North Korea is, is a virgin country, loved, just like a virgin. We all love virgins. And I said, no, this country is landlocked. And, you know, let me open it, like, like a virgin girl. Let people understand this guy's new career and let Kim Jong-un, Kim Jong-un, understand. And that's why, you know, treat the people, be happy, let them enjoy the world. And, and, and Kim Jong-un, my friend, he loved basketball. And I thought, well, you know, listen to the people. Listen, I told America, listen to Kim Jong-un. He's a great guy. He just wants to maintain his, his, his dad's legacy. But we don't give him a chance. And I tell myself that, look, I'm a basketball player, you know, I have interpersonal skill, and well, it's not about money. It's about not, they just got money, it's not about money. Does he but understand or speak English? My chance, I just used my chance to bring the two countries together, and I thought that was good. English. <laughs> Is it about English, man? It's not about English. When, when, when Obama went to other countries, does Obama speak other languages? It's, it's not, it's not about English. I hate when we, we change the, the subject. It's not body language exists. It's not about English. He's good. He's a good guy. No matter if he understands English or not, he can do something. He, he wants people to, to know that he can bring this world together and stop producing nukes. It's not about English, my friend. And I hate when, when, when you, you deter from the main point and bring English in this matter. I don't speak Korean that's language. How do we get along? That, that's the big question. I want to ask you about that in a second, but let me just French. get an answer to this. Why are you asking me stupid questions? or understands what? English? It's, it's not. It's not. So language is not a burden here. Do you think he's language studied English? About. He will say a little bit. He will say a little bit. And well, as a person, he has some teachers. Yes, they, they come over here, and we all know he's he's not a dumb man. He's not. 
He's not a dumb man. And he's trying to protect his people and the legacy of his father. That's what any great parent would do. And I love him. To see you. I'm he's glad not dead. you are well. If I you know that you're on your own journey. Stay healthy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay happy. Let me finish. And let me finish. Please let he's us a good guy. I want to go back process. home after good this. To see you. Safe. I don't want to go in home Singapore. and be Thank hiding. I don't want. I don't want to go home and hide. Yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. Look, I had to do the Dennis Rodman impression, man. That dude is hilarious. I think Donald Trump has set the bar really, really low for politicians. So, why not? Let's give Dennis Rodman a chance. So, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share the video, and subscribe for more videos. More views again, more subscription. It gets me up. I like your boy.